Hello, my name is Beth. Welcome to the Mid Yorkshire Hospitals NHS Trust. I'm a registered nurse within the Cancer Service. You have been asked to view this short film because you are due to start drug treatment within our service. This information is a guide to help you keep safe and provide you with the information before you undergo treatment. Cancer treatments are used to either destroy or control cancer cells. There are many different cancer treatments. They might be used on their own or in a combination. Treatments can include surgery, radiotherapy or a drug therapy such as chemotherapy, immunotherapy or hormone treatment. Some people need more than one type of treatment, for example, surgery followed by drug therapy and then radiotherapy. Medicines or drug therapies used in our service may be given as a tablet by injection under the skin or into the muscle or by a drip into a vein. Intravenous drugs may be administered by a small plastic tube called a cannula or by a larger tube that stays in your body such as a PIC line or a Hickman line. It is common that the drug therapies are given in combination with each other. You will have been advised by your specialist cancer team about the treatment options for you. You have been given an information pack. This pack contains drug information leaflets, a smart card with emergency contact numbers, self-assessment tools, a booklet called Coming for Cancer Treatment, leaflets to help you keep safe such as hand hygiene or safer eating, leaflets to help you raise concerns and share feedback, a number of leaflets containing support information from external organisations, consent and data registry information. We recognise that you have been given lots of information Sometimes this can be a little too much and sometimes people find it's just what they need. The most important pieces of information are the ones that keep you safe. Please do read the drug information that is specific to you. Please keep your smart card to hand. This way you can call for help at any time and as soon as you need it. Anti-cancer drugs not only destroy cancer cells but can also affect other cells in the body. This can sometimes cause you to experience side effects ranging from mild to severe. It is essential that you know if your treatment is a chemotherapy or an immunotherapy or a combination of both. Side effects that appear similar in nature may well need very different management depending on the drug you are taking. You have been given specific information about the drugs that you will receive. This information will help you identify if your treatment is a chemotherapy or an immunotherapy or something else such as a hormone therapy. This information will also detail the side effects of that drug and give you guidance of what to look out for. I will now talk about some of the more common side effects of cancer drug treatments and I'll share some ideas of how you might look after yourself if you experience them. Chemotherapy side effects might include increased risk of infection, increased risk of blood clots, nausea and vomiting, fatigue, constipation or diarrhoea, a sore mouth, hair loss, bruising and bleeding, changes in the way your major organs work, for example, your liver, heart, lungs and kidneys. Immunotherapy side effects might include diarrhea or tummy pain, changes to your breathing, skin changes, changes to the way your heart works and changes to the way your liver works. We know that sometimes side effects can worsen very quickly and some of them can even become life-threatening. 
No matter how mild the symptoms, it is important that you phone the number on your smart card so that we can assess you and treat you very quickly. Do not delay asking for help. If not treated early, some symptoms can be life-threatening. The helpline is open 24 hours a day for seven days a week. Most chemotherapy drugs affect your immune system and as a result you are less able to fight infection. You must be careful and try to avoid exposure to infections such as crowded places or from people who have colds, flu or other infections. Good hand hygiene is vital. Be careful not to cut your skin and wear protective gloves when necessary. Do not have any dental treatment, invasive investigations or vaccinations without checking first with your doctor. We do however recommend the seasonal flu vaccine. If you experience symptoms of infection such as a sore throat, cough, fever or as shivery then you should take your temperature using a digital thermometer. You can buy these from a chemist or a supermarket. The normal temperature is somewhere between 36 degrees and 37 degrees. If you have a temperature of 37.5 degrees or above you must immediately call the helpline. You should also call if your temperature is less than 36 degrees. Either of these could be a sign of sepsis, which is a life-threatening condition. The helpline number can be found on your smart card. You must ring immediately if you feel unwell in any way. We will now talk about the most common side effects. Nausea and vomiting. Some anti-cancer drugs can cause you to feel sick or even vomit. On the day of treatment, you may be given anti-sickness tablets to take home with you. If you feel sick, take them as directed on the pack. If you experience nausea or vomiting despite taking the tablets given to you, please don't hesitate to contact the helpline. You can be prescribed an alternative medication that should deal with any feelings of sickness. You can also try to eat small amounts, little and often, of what you fancy rather than a large meal. Sipping iced water may also be helpful. Further information and helpful advice around sickness, self-care and food safety can be found in the booklet. Fatigue. Fatigue is one of the most common side effects of cancer drug therapy. It can build up as your treatment goes on. Eating well, drinking plenty of fluids and resting is essential, but getting some fresh air and a little exercise will also be helpful. Constipation and or diarrhoea. Cancer treatment can cause constipation and or diarrhoea. For constipation, we can prescribe medication to deal with any symptoms. Please do not let constipation go untreated for more than two or three days. We recommend tablet powders or syrups rather than suppositories if treatment is needed for constipation. Increasing your fluid intake, staying active and changing your diet will also help. If you experience diarrhoea, you must contact the helpline without delay. We expect that some chemotherapies will cause diarrhoea. Mild symptoms can be managed with medication and a good fluid intake. Severe symptoms can lead to other problems such as affecting the balance of salts in your body or even affecting your kidney function. Severe diarrhoea caused by chemotherapy must be managed urgently. Please call the helpline immediately if your symptoms are severe. Diarrhoea caused by immunotherapy drugs must always be managed as a matter of urgency. No matter how mild the symptoms may be, you must phone the helpline immediately. Diarrhoea caused by immunotherapy drugs can cause your health to deteriorate very quickly. Changes to your mouth or throat. 
The lining of your mouth or throat may become sore or even ulcerated. It is important to use a soft toothbrush and an antibacterial mouthwash such as chlorhexidine. Avoid mouthwashes that contain alcohol as these may be too harsh. Make sure you drink plenty of fluids. You may take over the counter pain relief if this helps. Check your temperature regularly and call the helpline if you have any signs of infection. If you find that eating and drinking is difficult, then you must call the helpline. Hair loss. Some drugs cause your hair to thin or even fall out, including your body hair. Not all chemotherapy drugs cause hair loss. If the chemotherapy treatment does cause hair loss, then it usually starts to fall out 10 to 14 days after your first treatment. Hair loss can be very upsetting. Your nursing team will be able to give you advice and put you in touch with a wig service, if you wish. Your hair will begin to grow back once your treatment is finished. Sometimes you may be offered scalp cooling as a way of minimising hair loss. This can only be used with certain drugs and your nurse medical team will discuss this with you. Changes to your skin. Some anti-cancer drugs affect your skin. When you go out in the sun, cover up and use a high factor sun cream. If you notice cuts, sores or cracks in your skin, you must call the helpline. Inflammation, blistering and peeling of the skin could be a sign that a severe reaction is taking place. You must call the helpline immediately. Risk of blood clots. Anti-cancer drugs can increase your risk of getting a blood clot. Blood clots are commonly seen in the arms and legs but can occur in any other vein. Symptoms might include pain, redness, heat and swelling in the affected limb, sudden shortness of breath, coughing up blood or chest pain. You must contact the helpline for urgent advice. Changes to your nervous system. Some anti-cancer drugs can affect your nervous system. Symptoms could include tingling or numbness in your hands and feet. This is called peripheral neuropathy. This can worsen over time. It is important that you let us know so that the doctor can consider altering the dose of your medication. Usually symptoms improve when chemotherapy is completed but sometimes symptoms can be permanent. Some patients describe feeling foggy and sometimes they can be forgetful, restless or even anxious. Patients refer to this as having chemo brain. I would like to reassure you that this is quite normal. It is best to be kind to yourself as this won't last forever. Fertility. Fertility can be affected by anti-cancer drugs. Your doctor will discuss the possibilities of sperm banking or embryo storage if this is appropriate. Whilst you're on chemotherapy, you should use contraception for a short time after. Condoms should be worn so that both partners are protected from traces of chemotherapy. Women may find that their periods stop whilst they're on cancer treatment. They may or may not restart after the treatment. This will depend on the type of treatment and the age you are when you are treated. Undergoing cancer therapy and coping with side effects can be a very worrying experience. I have discussed some of the more common side effects and ways in which you can keep safe. There is lots more information in your pack and there is support available from our team and from other services. If you have concerns or queries, no matter how small or if you would like any further information, then please let us know. We are here to help you. The helpline is there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Please call if you need any help. Here are some important things to remember. Take your temperature every day. Phone the helpline if you feel unwell. Drink two litres of fluid per day unless your doctor advises otherwise. 
Specific drug information can be found in your pack. You can call for help 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Thank you for taking the time to watch and listen. On behalf of the Mid Yorkshire Hospitals NHS Trust, I would like to wish you all the very best in your treatment journey. Thank you.